Sorry. Sorry. Oh, that was so touching. That was so sweet. You will not have any of that next. There we go. <laughs> it's, so lo it's hard to look masculine and carry balloons. Okay, we're good? Awesome. My lovely wife, Jen. <laughs> Who has shown me kindness beyond my wildest dreams. <laughs> I am the current Guinness World Record holder for the world's fastest balloon sculptor. I'm not, I'm not sure if you should be encouraged. That's actually more encouraging than my family has ever given me. They're still hoping it's going to be a phase. Uh, when I was a child, I was bound and determined. I said, I'm going to be better at one thing than anything else in the world, better than anyone in the world. And I found the key to that is find something no one else wants to do, because it's kind of important. But uh, <laughs> I just felt air come out of my eye. I kind of like that. Anyway. I've been making balloons for 36 years. That's a long time. And uh, I can make almost anything. That was weird. Let me show you. <laughs> Here, wait, 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 wait. Check it out. What do you think this is? Why does it have to be anything? Why can't it just be? Are we now defined only by our appearances and not by the content of our soul? Anybody want a cheap latex souvenir? No? Okay, it's gonna be a tough crowd. Okay, hang on tight. Oh, check this one out. Look at this. It's a deer. Oh, deer in the headlights. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the, you know what? Balloons are my friends. They're not necessarily yours. <laughs> Easiest balloon animal in the world. Dun, 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 da, da. <laughs> Do you know how much free time you have to have to come up with this kind of stuff? Sure, some people, you guys work on your marriage, but I'm like, shark! You know what? It was a shark and, and now it's a cow. <laughs> you can get a free value meal, Chick-fil-A. Are you encouraging that? Would you like it? I'll learn to be kind. No, no, I'm not gonna be kind. Uh, you know what? Because, you know, I was thinking, I'm probably the least qualified person in the world to talk about kindness, and mostly that is because I'm not a kind person. Kindness takes time. Kindness is not, it, it's easy to be kind if it's convenient. But the problem is this, most of us don't have the time to be convenient. That extra couple seconds to open the door for someone, or to, or to merge, or to tell your father you love him. It takes too much time. But the one thing I am qualified to talk about is unkindness, because I see that every day. If you make balloons every day, People give you the same respect and compassion they do as a costume character or, or a mascot because they don't even view you as human. I had a line of kids the other day. In, oh, by the way, have you spent time with kids? <laughs> <laughs> Most of my friends are five, at least emotionally. But um, you know what? They, they, they're all hanging around me, you know, hitting you. And like, my dad's paying you. We can do anything we want to you. We don't believe in magic. And I'm like, I don't believe children of the future. Um, <laughs> But I saw the most awesome thing I've ever seen in my life. I saw two grandmothers. Both believed in their heart that their child was the next person in line. Fight. It should be pay-per-view. There, sh there should just be Grandmom's Fighting Channel or Ninja or Monkey Channel. That would be a great show, too. But they were just slapping at each other. And you know what the prize was? The love of their grandchildren. It's beautiful. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> But I gotta tell you, sometimes people don't talk to me as they, they talk like this. They, 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 as, as, as if I'm not there. I was doing a, a show and I was making a balloon. And you know what? I'll make that balloon right now, actually, while we're doing it, while we're talking. <laughs> oh. If you want to try one of these, you get a little clicking in the back of your head. It's awesome. When I grew up, we didn't have the internet. That's what we did. We played with, you know, anyway. So this mom starts talking to me passive-aggressively through her child. She's not making eye contact at me. She's just looking at the child, and she's doing this. You're such a good girl. You are such a good girl. I don't know how you're waiting so long. You're such a good girl. I don't know why he's not making you a monkey. I don't know why he's not making you a monkey. You're such a good girl. After a couple minutes of this, I'm like, I can hear you. 
<laughs> and, and she's like, well, we just want our monkey and I can go. And I'm like, okay, but there's a lot of people here and they were here before you. We just need our monkey, I understand. So um, I did something I shouldn't have done. I kind of flipped out and I threw a bunch of balloons at her and I said, you know what, why don't you help? Blow up a few balloons, it'll make it go faster. And then I made the tragic mistake. I turned to the small child and I said, your mommy can do it if she loves you enough. <laughs> now, a, the mother immediately tried to blow it up and it wouldn't work. She tried, it blown so hard, the girl's watching. And then suddenly she realizes, mom doesn't love me. She starts crying. It's, and, and, it was, and, but there was a crowd of people who were all up to this point going, woo! Right? And now everybody's doing this. <laughs> Looking down, no one's making eye contact. And uh, it was very awkward. I'm like, uh, is this a joke? You know, little girl, you can kick me. I'm a bad person. Anything like that. And the mother starts screaming at me about how dare I tell her child that her mother doesn't love her. And I'm like, technically, I didn't say that. I said, you know, anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to get up on semantics, but I didn't actually... S you hear what you want to hear. Anyway, um, so she, she, I make her the monkey, and by that point, she walks away, and she just grabs it and runs away, and she was this bitter, angry, hateful woman, and I felt more horrible for that child. And just then, a few seconds later, I, I went, everyone knew that was a joke, right? And everyone's like, yeah, it was funny. And just then, a mom blew up a balloon and went, look, I love my child. It was awesome. <laughs> That's, that's the best part about this because you can do this for a living and you just hang out and you see some of the, the, the best and the worst of everyone. I saw a child the other day who was only balloon he was and gave it to another smaller child because he realized that the child needed it more than he. And it wasn't solicited. It was just a warm act of kindness I've never seen in children today. And most of the children today, people talk about how bad the children are. There's amazingly wonderful children, but you have to take the time to see them and spend time with them. Unfortunately, I still play jokes on them, and I like it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> the kid next door, we took his brother's clothes, we put them on the floor, and I poured water all around it, and I told him his brother melted. <laughs> he's like, Marty melted! But Marty was hiding under the stairs, laughing, but he's like, but I can still hear him! <laughs> it's a fun joke, you gotta do that. Oh. I was at Toys R Us and I wasn't paying attention and I knocked over a bunch of toys. They just all fell down on the ground and this little rotten little eight-year-old kid just looks at me and just starts laughing at me, just laughing at me. And, I, and just then the manager heard the crash, comes around the corner and <laughs> I looked at the little kid and I went, you should be more careful. <laughs> and the manager grabbed the kid and dragged him off. It was beautiful and just to see this child's face, it was him, it was him. And I'm like, you should learn to take responsibility. That's what grown-ups do. That's what you have to do. <laughs> He's getting yelled at and making faces at him behind his back. It's great. Oh, by the way, one monkey on a tree with a banana, which is I can't believe I spent all this time not to make this, and the one thing I pre-made to save time was this. That is not good thought process. And this is <laughs> monkey on a tree. No, okay, no, 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 don't be under encouraging. But it's, it's so sad because it, people, like this other kid the other day, is like, oh, I want a monkey without a tree. And I'm like, you want a homeless monkey? That's just <laughs> weird and sad. <laughs> this little girl the other day, she's like, what do you want, what do you want? She's like, I want to ride a flying pink unicorn into the night. I'm like, unicorns don't fly. <laughs> Second of all, everybody knows that unicorns have a genetic defect that won't allow them to support the weight of a small child. <laughs> she's like, you don't even like unicorns. I'm like, they're delicious. And she started crying. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Here, I'll tell you some. Here, wait, you know what? I'll show you something else. Cool. This is my favorite animal. Oh. oh. It's a dog on a leash. This one's got hip dysplasia. You get that with a big dog. Anyway. <laughs> Just can't believe this is my job. See, you guys have all spent, see, 
You know, I, I, it'd be on the, the part of the Guinness thing, if it'll last uh, almost 10 years, it's between me and this clown in Germany. We go back and forth. He beats me, I beat him back. I'm not joking, it really is true. It's a German clown. He's my nemesis, he's my arch enemy, he's my Joker to my Batman, my Kelly Lee to Kathy, whatever. My friends call me up on the phone, they're like, knock, knock, who's there? German clown, they hang up. <laughs> But because and you guys probably everybody in this room probably deals with clowns every day of your life, don't you? Yeah, but in my case, they really are clowns. Um, <laughs> really is. It's kind of creepy though. But uh, my point is this: is actually uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I have trouble focusing. When I grew up, we didn't have ADD. You were just BAD. Things were different back then. <laughs> wait, wait. You got to see this one. This is cool too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bear. I, it's a polar bear. Okay, it's better than a bipolar bear. Okay, never mind. Um, no, that wouldn't be funny. You know what? I'll show you this real quick. This will be fun. You know, it's okay. Sometimes they sacrifice themselves so others may live. It's okay. They do not feel pain like we do. This, this is actually kind of cool. Uh, you know, we, we... Can I tell you the funniest thing my wife has ever seen in my life? Please say yes, you can't go anywhere anyway. Thank you very much. I'm directing to you because you have a warm, kind face. Something I know nothing about. We did a trade show in Las Vegas and it was a horrible, horrible trade show. It was a horrible flight and we got there. It's two in the morning. I'm in front of the baggage carousel in Las Vegas and uh, I'm just sitting there waiting for my baggage, reevaluating my life, going, I'm nearly 50 years old. I'm making balloons for a living. All my friends are five. This is not the way I thought it would go. And just then, I see a child who was on the plane. And this kid was on the plane, he was sleeping. But you may not believe it, but kids in the area, I make balloons for them all the time. They know me. And the, and, and, but this kid wipes his eyes out. And he looks up, and he sees me from a distance. And he goes, Balloon Man! Balloon Man! And he starts running towards me. Just running towards me. And just for a moment, I felt like I had purpose. This is, this is what I'm supposed to do. It may not be a grand purpose. It may not be any, but it's my purpose. This is what I'm supposed to do. I get down on one leg. Kid's running towards me. Balloon man! And he runs right past me. <laughs> he was looking at the poster for the Blue Man group. And going, Blue man! <laughs> Jen has never laughed so hard in her life because there's nothing you enjoy more than my public humiliation. And I don't blame you because I've done horrible things to you. <laughs> but, but that was kind of fun. <laughs> Here, I'll show you something cool. This is, uh, kind of neat. <laughs> okay, so you like, I like, Kirsten only laughs at the quirkiest things. I love her. It's an alien. I made this for a little girl the other day. She's like, you know, they're gray. They're not green. <laughs> that was a creepy little kid. This, this little girl, this little girl, she's a, this beautiful blonde-haired girl. She comes up to me, and, and she's very kind, by the way. And she's like, guess what's in my pocket? And I'm like, I don't know, a uh, button, a uh, lint? She's like, no, rabbit pieces. And I thought maybe she had a rabbit's foot or something. No, her dog had ripped apart a rabbit in the backyard. I know, that's the way I felt. And she was carrying the pieces around in her pocket, like pulling it out, just petting it like this. Yeah, I'm like, does your mom know about that? And she went, shh. That's a creepy kid. So, and I kind of ratted her out to her mom. I'm like, uh, yeah, you're horrified, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I told her mom, I'm like, you may want to look in her pockets later. <laughs> she just, Ah. Yeah, a lot of free time here. Yeah, you don't do the dogs anymore. It's an alien riding a motorcycle. I gave this to a little kid the other day and he tried to ride it. No, it popped immediately. And for the first time, that was life cheating him. Do you know what it's like to watch the hope drain out of a child's face for the first time? It is awesome. Okay. 
Because my wife is like, what are you giving up for Lent? And I'm like, hope. <laughs> what, this is very uncomfortable. It's like the bitter balloon man talking. It's just so rare that I get to speak to adults. This is awesome. I, I do, do we have time? How much time do you have? I forgot to put my watch. I got, we got, no. I was relying on you when you were alone. Oh, you're right. I know, but I, I didn't push it until like halfway through, like three minutes in or something. So I'm not good at math. Uh, I'll keep on talking. Um, Let me, what, what's that? Yes. I will do anything you want. Your happiness is the last thing in the world I think about every time. <laughs> that sounded insincere, but I made eye contact. That was creepy. You have, you have a request. There's a child? Come here, small suburban child. Come on up. She's afraid of me. As well you should be. Because <laughs> the kid was, the kid the other day is like, I'm going to sue you. And I'm like, what are you going to get? Balloons. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, you gotta sue people who have got something. Would anybody care for a balloon, by the way? Would you like to talk to me in any other regard, like an adult for a minute? <laughs> okay, uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> oh, you know what, I'm gonna make something I like. Can I'm gonna, yeah, you can have the eye goggle things. I have something even better for you. Come on up for a second. <laughs> Did you actually say yes? Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Turn around, face here just for a second. What's your name? Kara. What? Kara. Kara, that's fancy. Thanks. I like that. I'm just John, my parents didn't put a lot of thought into it. I didn't Cool. Does, does, <laughs> I'm sorry, you just took me by your comfortableness. Oh, no, it was awesome. It's just, what's it like to have a family that cares about you? Because <laughs> I'm still looking for the validation I'll never receive. Well, yeah. Okay, that was it. We don't have to discuss your personal problem. No, uh, my if problem. You want to, I just, I just tomorrow Do you have therapy? So I don't have I went to a therapist this year. You know what he told me? What? He said, I don't usually recommend this, but in your case, medication may be a good idea. <laughs> it's okay. It's a joke. Relax. I know, I was, Look how serious you are. I was hoping, I, I'm just you. Okay. <laughs> You're looking at me like I'm a crazy homeless man. That's awesome. I love that. Here, you know what? I'm going to make you something nice, and it'll go great with the eyeball. There you go. Hang on tight. Here, would you mind? Uh... There you go. This is... Perfect for day or evening. This is actually one of the first things I ever made years and years and years ago. This is a hat, it's got fruit all over it. Yes, you can have, give people, may I try it on you? I won't mess up your hair, this goes on your head. Here, I got the CRE eyeballs for you too. You're very nice, give your hair a big round of applause, thank you very much for coming. Oh, oh, great, we'll wrap it up really quick. Here, because I saw the Universal. Here's the thing. My father sorry. gave me... No, I'm, sorry, I'm not good. At, I mean, that's good. Plus, it annoys everyone behind you. Do you remember the balloon boy a couple months ago? Oh, I wish that was my kid. Okay. <laughs> my father gave me the kindest gift I've ever received in my life. And what he did was gave me permission to find something I love and to make a living doing it. I don't think this is what he had in mind. <laughs> but it was a wonderful, wonderful gift. And I've been doing the balloons for so long, and I started to realize why I like the balloons. I think it mostly is because the balloons are like us. If you look at every single one of them, they could, they, like us, everyone in this room, every single one of them, they come in different shapes and different sizes and different colors, and each one is beautiful, unique, <laughs> fragile, <laughs> and doomed. <laughs> Guys, so if you have the time, please be kind. Thank you.